This is doubly tough because first we have to realise we're going to use the formula, the integral between a and b of fx dx equals the limit as n approaches infinity of b minus a over n, the sum between i equals 1 and n of f of a add b minus a i over n. If this means nothing to you, check out the video in the description to this reel. And secondly, we have to work out how do we get this into that form. And the way we do it is divide top and bottom by n squared, because n is never zero, we can do that. And that gives us the limit, as n approaches infinity, of n equals i to 1 of 1 over n over 1 add i over n squared. We can take the 1 over n out because n is a constant, so therefore, in, certainly a constant in the summation, therefore we have limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n, the sum between i equals 1 and n of 1 over 1 add i over n squared. Now we can, if we compare this to this and let a equal 0, b equal 1, and f of x equals 1 over 1 add x squared, these two are identical, Therefore, our limit here simplifies to the integral between 1 and 0 of 1 over 1 add x squared dx, and that equals arctan x between 1 and 0, which equals pi over 4, take away 0, which is pi over 4, which is answer A.